Welcome to Family Search Web Indexing. I want to take just a minute here and show you how the new data entry keys work so I can help you be comfortable indexing with them. You'll notice here that if I'm in a field and there's no drop down, then when I type an entry and come back to it, I don't get any history when I start typing. However, if I'm in a field with this drop down arrow, then if I type a value, then when I come back to this this field and I start typing again, you'll see that I start to get history. So let me just point out here, put a couple values in history. If you start typing, and right now you can see the, that 1905 is highlighted, if I press enter, well, 1905 is highlighted, I'm going to get 1905. Now, if I want to start typing and I put in 19, you'll see 1905 is highlighted. But if I press the tab key, then you'll see that it keeps exactly what I typed. So, once again, if I use the enter key, I get what's highlighted. So, let's say right here, 1906, and I press enter, I get 1906. If I type something different, then I hit tab. I get exactly what I typed and it doesn't try to give me the suggested value. Another key point here is that you'll notice right now that only certain fields have the autocomplete turned on. Our project creators determine which fields use this. Uh, for things like uh, day of the month, this could be really annoying when you type in, for instance, 22 once, and then the next time you want 2, the second day of the month, it's going to auto-complete 22, and you may not notice that if it were turned on there. So what I want to show you is how to control auto-complete. I'm clicking on Batch, and then Settings, and I'm going to click on the auto-complete tab, and you'll see I have three choices. The default is to keep project defaults, which means whatever the project creators have selected for autocomplete. These ones with the drop down arrows will use the autocomplete. I can also turn it on for all fields. You'll see what happens here. Now I have this in every field. One of the key problems with this is if I type 22 and then I come back later and I start typing and I do a 2 and I hit enter to advance. <clears throat> then I'm going to get the 22 when I really only wanted a 2. Now to get around that I can simply type in 2 and hit tab, but again we're worried that people are going to get dates that they don't intend if people have all of these fields turned on for autocomplete. Let me go back here. If you don't like autocomplete at all, you can completely turn it off. And so you'll see that those arrows are gone. The only places that you'll see arrows is when you have choices you can pick from. Things like gender and month. You'll see if I go here and type in Smith and I come back and I start typing. I don't get any history so it doesn't pop anything up. And I can go back to batch and settings. Autocomplete and I tend to like using the project defaults. If for any reason for a particular project I do want to have all of the fields because there seems to be something that's repeating regularly then I can go ahead and turn that on for all fields and it might help me with a particular project. So we hope you enjoy the new data entry keys. We think once you get used to them and really understand them that it will actually help your indexing and help you go faster.